Hey, what's going on guys? That is Psycho here and today I'm bringing you guys another commentary video where I just kind of wanted to answer another one of your questions that you guys have been asking me for a while now. And this question is actually very popular on the internet too, so it's not just you guys have been asking me. Um, it's especially really, really common asked on Unity's community, especially on the forums. And um, that question is basically if Unity is really as good as it seems to be or if it's not. And the main reason why this question is so popular is basically because Unity is a free to use software and as soon as a free software is being released somewhere it's being used by millions of people depending on its popularity and since like considering that unity is one of the most if not the most popular game engine out there and it's also free to use so you may already know what where this is going but simply it's just people are wondering if unity is really that good as it seems to be on its trailers and all these cinematic movies that are being released by unity technologies such as adam um, the full version of the demo was released for for a couple of weeks ago, I guess and um, You know people were shocked that it, it was just gorgeous like it was visually stunning It was it had an amazing performance rate and the animations were silky smooth and People were basically asking if unity really is that good or if it's just like some fake um, rendering like post-processing effects that they added at the end of the video I don't know in full details if they added something else in the video editing software that they are using, but I can already now guarantee you that the Unity engine is as good as it seems to be on the Atom demo and the Blacksmith demo. And I know it's a free to use software and it's being used, it's been used by millions of people over the time it's been released. And, um, you know, people have been using Unity for many different purposes. Some people have been using it for 3D modeling and some others have been using it for animation movies. And, you know, mostly it's being used by indie developers since it's a free to use software. When you when you are a really small indie developer, you're always going to seek out for free to use game engines that are worth using. And since Unity is really popular in that area, it's always going to attract more users. And considering that Unity is free to use, and it's been since ever since it was released, and the fact that a lot of people have been using Unity for many different purposes, including making games, which is the main purpose of it, um, you may think that it's, you know, you've seen like some, a couple of shitty games or something made by Unity, or made with Unity, and you may just like assume that Unity is a shit engine because it's free to use and it's being used by all these people. And since it's free to use, Unity Technologies, which are the developers of Unity, don't pay so much attention to Unity because you know it's a free engine. What would what would it like damage the engine if it if they didn't update it constantly? But the honest truth is, it's a false accusation. You can use Unity for every single purpose and whatever reason you have. Um, may it be game development or animation making, but it's an incredibly good engine if you know how to use it. And in order to know how to use it, it's not like you're going to be told that information, but you just have to learn how to use the engine itself. And it's, you know, it's time consuming, obviously, but what isn't, right? If you're starting with Blender in order to 3D model, you're most likely going to have to spend a little bit of time onto it before you actually learn the core of it. And the same logic goes to everything. If you're making YouTube videos, you download a recording software, then you download a um, video editing software or you purchase whatever, you need to spend some time in order to learn how to use them. And that goes with everything in just general, right? As soon as you're trying to learn something, you have to spend time on it in order to actually get to the core of it. And most of the indie developers that are using Unity don't, like, I'm not gonna go ahead and accuse that they don't learn the Unity, like, they don't learn the UI or something, but I'm just going to presume that they don't learn as much as we others do. Like, I'm an indie developer too, I don't see my games or levels or whatever to be, like, pitch perfect. But I see them on a high level since a lot of people are appreciating the visual quality of it. And not only that, but I also keep a very good optimization, or I actually optimize it really good so that it, I, I keep a very good performance on my scenes and my games and everything else that I'm making, including my assets. And you also need to realize that there is an asset store with like, what, thousands of different assets from 3D models to audio visual qualities, and you know just to literally everything and there are good poly models that are being 
um, developed and modeled by very good companies and there are also less good models that are a lot cheaper and um, modeled in lower polys which means that their quality is greatly decreased but then again there is also there are also many different low poly models models that are like supposed to be low poly because you know games are being made in low poly nowadays so it's really really important to find a very good asset that really suits your game if you're making a cartoon game you're probably going to want to use cartoon models since it's going to look a lot better but if you're making a triple-a quality game or basically focusing on triple-a quality you may want to go for really high model high quality models which is very obvious but a lot of people are actually missing this part and yes, I do agree that there are many different game engines that are whether paid or free to use that are a lot better in, than Unity in terms of how their visual quality is stunning. But you need to realize that Unity is one of the most, like one of the easiest to use game engines out there. Yet it has such a very, like such a good quality in terms of visuals, like graphics. And it has a very high tech system too, just like all the other game engines out there. And once again, if you know how to use Unity, you, you are going to realize how good it actually is. But since we live in a society where people just kind of assume things and don't really try it by themselves, it's going to be very unique seeing indie developers that are actually achieving something very good with Unity, which is why the Atom demo shocked a lot of people actually. So a conclusion, um, is Unity worth using? Yes. Is Unity worth spending your time on too? Yes, definitely. Is Unity very good in terms of graphics, which is very important for indie games apparently? Yes, it really is. But you have to learn how to use Unity before you can actually like assume something out of it and just kind of review it, right? You have to play a game in order to actually be able to review it in, in depth. So if you just go to the... If you just start with Unity and get to it like some of some part of its UI but you don't actually learn it but you just kind of look at it you're not going to be able to review it which is very obvious but then again some people really skip this part too and if you do spend some time on Unity I can guarantee you that you're going to be very satisfied so anyway um, thank you guys so much for watching this video I just kind of wanted to get this off of my chest because I've seen that a lot of people have been asking this question since ever since unity was released back in like what 2009 I don't don't quote me I may be wrong I'm probably wrong but something like that right and um, I was one of them I have to be agree I was one of them but I was a very little kid when I started with unity especially started with game development so I didn't really know a lot about it and I just kind of wanted to get into it and you know be I basically I got thrust into it so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon and if you have any other questions regarding unity whether it's about unity or about game engines let me know and um, more tutorials coming soon more level designs coming soon Subscribe to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon and I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I make. See y'all guys. Love you. Bye. Peace. Peace.